<laughs> but I have friends who do the internet dating, and I love when they like are mad. You know, guys get mad irrationally. You know, I had a, a buddy who did uh, OK Cupid, and he went on a date, and he's like, I, I, I fucking I got betrayed, man. I'm like, you've known her for an hour. You can't betray some. You haven't built out anything up yet. I'm like, how did she betray you? He's like, I wasted my fucking time. It turns out she had a kid. I'm like, she wasted an hour. She needs to be with that kid. You're a waste of an hour. You're not a suitable father for her. And he was like, yeah, but she fucking lied to me, man. She didn't tell me that. I'm like, did you read her profile? He's like, yes, I did. I'm like, well, what did it say under, do you have a kid? He's like, that's just it, man. It said, prefer not to say. <laughs> Do you guys think, like, in the history of prefer not to say, is it's ever been used instead of the better option? <laughs> you think any girl's like, yeah, I don't have a kid, but, you know, maybe I want to see if he likes a built-in family. With baggage, yeah, with baggage. It comes with... Do you think any girl out there has ever not had an STD and just been like, you know what, I don't have an STD, but I'm going to put prefer not to say, you know what? Because I like a fucking gambler. I like a man. With a sense of adventure. Choose your own adventure, motherfucker. Enter at your own risk. I don't think so. I don't I don't think that's how I don't think that's how life works. Um, we don't we're not having a lot of sex uh, anymore. Uh, yeah, I don't really miss it. I don't know. I had, a, I had a fair share. I'm good. I have my share, I'm I'm good, you know, I have more time to stream, you know? I, I, all my sexual energy has been converted into online streaming energy now, you know? Like, I can fuck for minutes, but I can stream for hours, you know? My refractory period on streaming is like two, two minutes. I can get back up for season two. I can watch the entire three seasons of a show. Like, if I was single, that's all I would say at a bar. I'd be like, can't fuck, my dick's not big, but I have Hulu Plus, HBO Go, Amazon Prime, and Netflix. They call me McStreamy, okay? That's one of my, one of my passwords. You want to borrow some of these passwords? I'll give you all of them. McStreamy, please, somebody call me that after the show. I'll make my night, i make my life. Um, but, you know, like when you're single, like I, you know, I kind of miss the, um, like the rough sex, you know, like where you scrape your knees on the ground, you know, like it's just like it hurts, but you don't want to tell the person because you met them and you're having the fun. So now it's like, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I, actually it's probably good. Now, even the slightest twinge of pain, I'm like, we'll, we'll just stop. We're going to pick this up on Tuesday. I feel, a, I feel a foot cramp coming on. Yeah, we just massage that out and then turn on the air conditioning and then turn on Game of Thrones and we'll pick this up on Tuesday. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I miss any of that shit, you know? Like, I, my knees are totally unscraped right now. I can say that with certainty. My knees will not be scraped this year at all. <laughs> safe sex. I practice safe sex. I mean, like, never where it's slippery. Ever. Never. Sh shower? Hell no. I still don't have Obamacare. I can't even get in the shower. She's like, what are you doing? Please don't tell me you're here for sex. Are you fucking... Can, don't even take any of my hot water. You're not, you will not get in the shower. You just, you just I, um, my girlfriend is uh, claiming to practice meditation. Any girls here meditate? No? Nobody wants to admit it because I just said meditate. You, do, you look like somebody who could. She's a Jewish girl. Jewish girls, they can't meditate. <laughs> Just a scientific, they just don't have enough relaxed energy to meditate. It's just impossible for like true meditation, right? They can call it meditation, but it's not. And I'll tell you why, this is exactly what happened to me. The other day, I just like, she like rolled over to kiss her good morning. And she goes, shh, I'm meditating, you're so annoying. I'm like, I don't know shit about meditation, but that ain't it, okay? I'm pretty sure you can't go from a zen-like state to fucking hating the person sitting next to you. Just like, I'm like, you're not meditating, you're just hoping you had a better life. Sorry, you open your eyes and here I am. Go back to your dream with Ryan Gosling. You're not fucking meditating. Like, I just rolled over just to give her love. Like, meditation doesn't involve rejecting love. Like, granted, my penis was digging into her back. 
just drilling a hole and just like corkscrewing through her spine. But if she was really meditating, she wouldn't feel that at all. You know what I mean? Like, that's true real meditation. Like, you think the Dalai Lama could ever be interrupted when he's fucking meditating? You ever think he's just like, mmm, and then his wife's just like, what do you think? Should we get sushi? Shut the fuck up! I was just about to achieve total consciousness. Don't you see my fingers going like this? Transcendental fucking state. I don't have any money. I don't carry money around. Put your fucking sweatpants back on. Also, I'm a celibate monk, you fucking idiots. I don't have a wife. Uh, 